In COVID-19 cases forced a local police department to change how officers respond to calls. KXAN's Jennifer Sanders spoke to Lano County Police after almost half the department got the virus. A lot different for her this month after losing a loved one to COVID-19. Had gotten a new job and two weeks later one of the workers came in with it and he got it and he passed away. She now makes sure everyone who comes in her store abides by the health department's COVID-19 protocols. She's seeing more people wearing masks as case numbers go up in Llano County. Just a month ago, there were 245 cases. Now it's 394. The last few weeks, it's just been rampant, um, going like wildfire. So that, you know, that's put a strain on everybody in the community, including the Lano Police Department, which had three officers test positive for the virus, impacting day to day operations for their department of eight. We're trying to manage our, our personnel that's actually working and ensuring we get coverage, you know, the 24 hour coverage to our citizens. Chief Mike Scoggins says that coverage looks a little different now because they are limiting contact with the public. Officers are not responding to minor traffic accidents and property crime reports will only be taken over the phone. We're still responding to all emergencies such as violent crime, robberies, assaults, family violence. The department implemented COVID-19 protocols back in March, but as cases went down and businesses and schools opened up, those protocols changed in August. We started interacting with the public more. Um, I think we became a little lax in reference to it, so we wanted to go back to the protocol and ensure that we are providing an example to the public. Business owners like Matlack hopes that this example will help keep her community safe and help in the fight against COVID-19. In Lano, Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. Lano police tell us people can file their own accident reports through TxDOT. The department's animal control services won't respond to calls of stray animals. They'll only be available for bites or attacks. There's also limited access to the department's lobby. And we reached out to several local police departments to see uh, just how they have changed their response during the pandemic. In March, the Austin Police Department released a new list of protocols that included no longer responding to minor crashes or calls that can be addressed online or over the phone. APD confirmed tonight that policy does remain in place. The Travis County Sheriff's Office tells us they relaxed some restrictions a couple of months ago because of complaints over reckless driving. They say they are leaving it up to deputies to decide how they approach traffic stops. They say they are still encouraging deputies to wear masks and social distance when possible. Now, this is